Real-Time Email Validation API. Hello, everyone, and welcome. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about our real-time API and how you can use this. And uh, I'll go ahead and do a demonstration in Postman as well. But we also we have a uh, single email validator, which allows you to validate one email address and get back one quick response. This is really, really good for people who are using sign-up forms, or maybe you also are just using, uh, you know, you, you have huge lists and you want to go through them kind of in a quicker fashion. Uh, we do see people who are using these in their platforms, maybe when they're providing data to their customers, they're quickly running through validation. And so they'll use this type of uh, this endpoint. And so we have multiple endpoints, but this is the one specifically for one email address at a time. It's built for speed and it's built to process data, uh, data very quickly. So the endpoint is here and this will be, this is under our documentation. You go here and go to our email validation API. You can go to our single email validator. You'll have your endpoint here. You can take this and you can bring it into uh, Postman or you can use you know any of your programming software that you prefer. We also have some pre-written code here if it's helpful where you can use this information to kind of fast track your development. And again, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use Postman and you can also actually even use your, your browser if you wanna quickly get some, some ideas. Here's an example of what the response will look like, assuming you have credits available in your account and you're using a valid API key. We're gonna push back the email address that you sent, the status, the substatus. We're gonna determine if this is a free email account or not, meaning is it an AOL, a Gmail, a Yahoo, is it any of those type of emails? The did you mean, this is if we find a typo fix. The account is gonna be the, the prefix to the email address and then the domain will be the end. We're going to give you the domain age and days. So how old that domain is, this is something really helpful for people who might be using it to maybe reduce fraud on their website um, or just want gener you know, general information about how old the domain is. We're going to give you the provider if we know it, the MX records, and then if we found an MX record, yes or no. And then some of our data append information if we can find it. And we, not, we, we cannot always find data appended information such as first name, last name, gender. If we do, we will provide it back. Country, this will be based on the IP address if you provide that to us as part of your API call. Many times this can be this can be collected as uh, as you're retrieving the information to send to us through validation. We can give you a general idea of where that IP address is located uh, based on an IP2 location type lookup. So with that being said, um, the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need your query. And so I'm just going to copy and paste this. And for real simplicity's sake, I'm going to... Um, put it into my browser. So if I click this, obviously I'm going to get an error message back because I don't have an API key in here. And so in here, we have two sections that we're looking for you to update. Sorry, three. Your API key, which you'll put here. The email address, which you'll put here. And the IP address, which you don't have to have. You can leave it blank. And for the sake of a demonstration, um, I'll do one with it and then I'll do one without it. The really um, part you want to make sure you can get is from your, you want to get your API key. So to do that, log into your account, go to zerobounce.net, sign into your account, and then you'll go ahead and go to the API section here. So this is where you would land. You'll go to your API section and you wanna grab a key. Now you wanna make sure this key is active. I have one active, one inactive. You wanna make sure this key is active and that you have credits available on your account in order to process the validation. So I will copy that and I will put my key here. So replace with yours. I'm going to change to my API key. And for the sake of demonstration, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit submit. So now I'm getting back um, the results. And so obviously this is not the prettiest format, but again, I'm just showing you how quick it is to actually even test something like this and to understand if something's working. So let's put in a real email address. Well, let's make one up. Uh, so how about johnny at gmail.com? Johnny is an invalid email address. That mailbox does not exist. You can see for the IP address as well, we provided back where we found this country and location, which is in the United States. This is not required. You do not have to have the IP address in order to provide, a, in order for us to provide a validation. What's required is the API key and the email. The IP address is optional. 
So this is, a, again, just a really quick example of how you can see something like this in a, in a somewhat friendly format, uh, but not usable for you on a long term, just to quickly test things. Something that's a little bit more usin usable and how you might start to see things in your uh, platform or how you do actual development is a, is a software called Postman. We offer a Postman collection, which you can find here um, in our documentation. Under Postman, um, I will get a link to that added to this video. And when you open up Postman, what you will see, if I go ahead and just copy and paste this same string into Postman, it will kind of pre-build my parameters and keys in here. I can hit send. And now I'm getting it back in probably a format most, most people are a little bit more used to, like a JSON form, format. And so... Um, you can, again, see all of the different information here and the data that we're bringing back. And again, you know, we can do lots of different things here to understand speed. You know, as you can see, response time here, 247 milliseconds, very super fast, very lightweight, and really designed for you to, to check something maybe before you proceed. So I would highly recommend you use this API if you're looking to use something on a sign-up form or if you're looking to do something very quick. It's really quick and easy to work with, and all you really need is your API key, and you need an email address, and the IP address is an optional parameter, but it actually must remain on the query. So it can be there, and it can be blank, but it should be on your query. So with that, that is our real-time API, and um, that is how we you would use it, and you can set it up, and obviously you can build this into your code, but for sake of how we use APIs, Postman is really good to show the example and how it works. And so this is exactly how it works. I hope this helps you. Thank you.